Hello, everybody. Please permit a prolonged interruption and my poor English. Topic of this talk. Now, I would like to speak on the subject of Chazazen be a Bodhisattva practice. I will explain this subject by dividing it into four short paragraphs. One, who is the Bodhisattva? Two, what is the difference between a monk and an ordinary person? Three, can Zazen be a Bodhisattva practice? For my conclusion. One, who is the Bodhisattva? There was a well-known hospital director in Japan named Shigeaki Hinohara. Dr. Hinohara often talked about life expectancy in his lectures that a lifespan is a time given to you and left to you. Then he defined the term Bodhisattva as someone not only who uses the time left to him for himself, but who also uses it for the help of others. In a word, a Bodhisattva is those who use one's time for others. 2. What is the difference between a monk and an ordinary person? When I was young, the first question I posed to the master at Ryojisemo Sodo was, what is the difference between a monk and an ordinary person? The master replied without a pause, we are both bodhisattvas seeking the way. I understood immediately there was no fundamental difference between monks and ordinary persons. They were both bodhisattvas seeking the way to. 3. Can Zazen be a bodhisattva practice? When you are practicing Zazen, you cannot do anything and you cannot move or speak and your hands are still in Hokkai join. It may be good for you, but can this Zazen also be helpful for others? I would like to explain why sitting without moving anywhere becomes Bodhisattva's behavior by using three episodes. Episode 1. Being open for the world. One small example. Sometimes we feel some noise when we begin to sit zazen even though we cannot hear anything else until then. It means to be open for the world or universe when we start the Zen. We always sit and practice with others, even though we sit alone on a mountain. If I explained this meaning a little bit more, it would show us that the whole world would become fine when we clean a garden square, when we would clean our faces the entire world would become clean. So, what we see Zazen is the entire world makes Zazen. Episode 2 Zazen is the basis for appropriate action. The following story is from the early days of the San Francisco Zen Center. Its founder, Shunryu Suzuki Roshi, was based on the premise of Zazen without seeking something and without seeking enlightenment. He had kept telling his Zazen practitioners group that Zazen would not help them. One day, a practitioner asked him to tell a story at least once about how it is helpful to practice Zazen. After folding his arms and thinking about it for a while, Suzuki Roshi said, if you practice Zazen, when the time comes, you will be able to respond to the, in the best possible way. Episode 3 Orientation towards Solidarity Being one with the other while being self First, as you know, 
Enlightenment and salvation are the same in Buddhism. But if you would wish for enlightenment or salvation alone, you would never reach final enlightenment or salvation. Since we exist with others, we can say our salvation and enlightenment go beyond our frame of reference or they are with others. Second, the orientation of being saved together with others is also said concerning the Zen as follows in the Hokyoki. The dialogue between Dogen Zenji and his master Nyojo Zenji, Chiatong Ryujin in China, that is, do not forget and abandon all sentient beings in the Zen. Give every compassion not only to the person but also to the insects. I understand that this sentence means our Zazen must be the whole activity for the entire world, including, including ourselves and others. Third, the self in the presence of others. Dogen Zenji described in the Shobogen Do Genjo Koan, conveying oneself toward all things to carry out practice enlightenment is delusion. All things coming and carrying out practice enlightenment through the self is realization, according to the translation by Shoha Kokumura Roshi. From my point of view, it means that there is a way to truth solidarity. For my conclusion, I want to conclude my talk by stressing that that there is a Bodhisattva practice. Thank you very much for your kind attention.